Okay people, quick movie pickups, but not just movie, also game. Because uh, yester wait, yes, yesterday was a uh, retro gathering, very great event. Um, you know what retro gathering is if you have taste, so I don't have to tell you. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, I got three games there, one console. Um, but before that, uh, we're going to just go through some older stuff. So this one I bought, I think, the same time as, uh, the same day at least, as my late last pickup video, but it didn't make it in because I uh, bought it after I made the video and I didn't want to make another video for just one thing in the same day, so it's still, uh, yes, not uh, shown. But anyways, it's uh, Mirai by uh, Mamoru Hosoda, uh, you know, famous anime director, and this is his only one to be uh, nominated for uh, Best Animated Feature Oscar. Uh, and it's among his better ones, in my opinion. Um, a lot of people don't like this one because it has, like, screaming kids, uh, and I get that that might be annoying, but I think it kind of fits, uh, fits the movie. Uh, it's like uh, family drama and in a lot of movies they try to just make the children cute and it's like kind of cringe because very unrealistic. These children in this movie, very annoying uh, and I think that's good because it feels real. Anyways, this is what it looks like. Um, and yes, same disc kind of on the inside. Just pictures for two other anime films. Boy and the Beast, worst film by Mamoru Hosoda, not good. Mary and the Witch's Flower, made by like the uh, the studio that was uh, started by former Studio Ghibli people, not as good as Studio Ghibli stuff, but decent movie. Anyways, uh, next up, the day before Retro Gathering, found... Uh, Two anime thingies uh, at uh, Miruna second hand shop. Um, so it's Kino's Journey, uh, anime series, the entire series, 13 episodes. It's like Swedish release, so it has like Swedish text. It's like pretty ugly, but um, and it's a thick boy and it has cute little thing with episode names. Uh, one, two, three, four discs. So yes, I've heard this show is actually very good, so I'm excited to watch it. And uh, let's hope people didn't lie when they said it was good. And other one at Mirona, pretty, like I guess pretty bad movie, Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, but I like it, it like, at the time had very good CG animation. Now it looks like it's starting to look kind of aged, kind of silly. But uh, yeah, it's like just very stupid. It's directed by Tetsuya Nomura, you know, uh, Kingdom Hearts guy. Uh, also, of course, character designer of these guys originally. But anyway, he's a great character designer, uh, writer, director, you know, he, mixed bag. But uh, it's a funny movie. It's stupid. It has cool action, great music, and yeah, I, I like like it despite the flaws. Uh, so this is a two-disc edition uh, with just feature disc and bonus disc. I don't know what's the bonus stuff. Um, documentary about the, uh, uh, you know, making off documentary. Uh, pictures from Venice Film Festival. I had no idea this was shown there. That's kind of weird. Um, trailers, deleted scenes. Yeah, cool enough, I guess. Anyway, on to the retro gathering stuff. Let's start off with Yakuza 1. Uh, I already have the remake, uh, Yakuza Kiwami. And you know, it's pretty good, but it's almost <laughs> like identical to Yakuza Zero, like, it's like they just took uh, the story of this game 
and shoved it inside this game and made some minor changes. So it's it feels like pretty rushed in some ways, but yeah, it, it's still like a totally valid way to play the game. You know, it, same story. Anyway, I'm excited to play the original because um, I played the original of Yakuza 2. And that was actually... They have almost the same cover. Uh, anyway, Yakuza 2 was actually very good. Uh, and uh, despite being a PS2 game, like it kind of almost holds up to like the later entries in the series. Like I think this is actually aged better than Yakuza 3. Uh, this probably not as much, but this also has the like really funny English dub, uh, which has some like really bad uh, um, lines, really funny. Um, yes, I'm actually like uh, excited to play it because I want to like see the real origins of the series. Anyways, uh, glad I found that because I've been wanting to get it. Another one I've been thinking about getting for a while, Kingdom Hearts uh, 3, 5, 8, Days Over 2. And uh, yeah, I, I've shown like, I love the Kingdom Hearts stuff multiple times in the past. Anyway, uh, this one is considered like pretty much the worst game in the series gameplay wise, other than like the mobile games. But uh, the story is great. Uh, I have read the manga, seen the cutscene movie. And I think this has like a lot of extra side character stuff that like flesh fleshes it out and stuff. And uh, it all seems to have some like unique, interesting quirks and stuff. Even like a multiplayer mode and stuff. And yeah, it's uh, complete with uh, manual and cartridge. Same for Yakuza 1, complete with manual and the disc. Anyway, finally, probably what I assume to be the best one here, Xenoblade Chronicles, which is like, you know, considered to be one of the greatest RPGs of one time. <laughs> Stop rooming people, uh, I don't like it. Anyways, uh, like the soundtrack is like really great, like top tier stuff. Uh, I think like the lead composer is uh, Yoko Shimomura, uh, same composer as Kingdom Hearts, which has incredible music. Uh, also a lot of other composers worked on this and uh, it's just amazing music. And uh, I, I don't know a lot, lot about, about the actual game or the story. I know like some of the characters, I know how it looks, the world and stuff. And uh, like I said, the music, but it's considered great and pretty much one of the best games on the Wii. And uh, I got it for decent price, 500. I think it usually goes for a little more than that. No, and I actually got it down to uh, 450, so that's good. Uh, it's very dark here. I'm trying to. Yeah, uh, the light is um, bad now. Anyways, it's disc and uh, manual. Finally. Um... Wait, I'm just gonna see if I can get the light to uh, to not be bad. Okay, wait, here we go. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, yes, cute stuff. And now it's bad again. Okay, who cares? Anyways, uh, so I bought a Wii because I didn't have one. So there's a console and. AV cable, sensor bar, fat uh, power uh, thingy, Wiimote with Wii Motion Plus, two of them even. Um, they feel good enough condition. I don't think there's any batteries in. No, uh, that would be weird. Uh, and um, one nunchuck in good condition in regards to like the analog stick. And uh, also thrown in here, uh, Wii, uh, 
like manual thing, GameCube manual thing, uh, <laughs> Wii wheel instruction manual, uh, which is like why does that exist? I guess, but um, another Wii thing, Wii party manual, and. Uh, we party some other thing. Uh, yes. So overall, um, very pleased with uh, very pleased with it's chaos on my table right now. So don't freak out. But uh, yes, all this cool stuff. Very happy about it. Um, also finished uh, one of my recent pickups, Breaking Bad. Um, recently. Um, like uh, two days ago and uh, it was uh, pretty fantastic so uh, there's like tens of hours of uh, bonus features on in the blu-ray box so I'm gonna watch a lot of that and uh, yeah just wanted to mention that I guess anyway this has been a little longer than usual so uh, thank you and bye bye